House of Sankofa once again. And uh, we thank you so much uh, for subscribing. Remember to tell a friend about uh, this uh, beautiful uh, platform. We're going back to retrieve and uh, moving forward in uh, light as we shine. Feel free to comment on any of uh, the episodes and possibly uh, just give us indications on who you'd like to see. Uh, upon this platform. Uh, my name is Zumni Swem Volu Kwa Tlakwa Atlima Fumba 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 And uh, today we welcome a young man whose uh, trajectory, I think, in uh, music uh, is developing itself in uh, the most uh, wonderful way. You might know of uh, the collective called uh, The Muffins, uh, and you'll see, you know, the, the brother at the back uh, operating the drums. But he's been gifted two gifts, namely the drums, as I mentioned, uh, two. Uh, he's got a wonderful voice um, that just uh, spellbounds his uh, audiences wherever he is. He's gone out solo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I welcome to you, and I welcome you, Keke Lingo, to the house of Sankofa. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> we needed a crowd, What an it? intro. <laughs> Thank you so welcome much. Welcome, my having good me. brother. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Wow. What an intro. What an intro. Is that the work I've done? Yeah, well. Wow. Yes. I think it's only when you are introduced uh, and you get to hear of the work that one does, you know? Yes. And I'm super grateful uh, for this platform and for inviting me, yeah. Yeah, um, I was just talking about your trajectory. Hey, yes. it's, it's long sometimes. Oh. Yeah, you just need to, you know, sort it out. Yes, um, it's, it, it's been the most amazing. But I just want to start from your roots, you know, oh. where, where you grew up. Let's go to Kabula Gopi as Ukeike. Shucks, uh, it's my birthday today. Oh, yeah. happy birthday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> House of Sankofa wishes him a happy birthday. Yeah, it's my yes. birthday today. And uh, so, Kele, so Mabusela, a young man born and raised, go na lady. Oh, Kosoweto. Kosoweto. Eh. Yeah. Hangkono in a forum house. Eh. Yeah. Uh, literally, I was actually born in the very, very house uh, my mother gave birth to me on this day uh, in one of the smaller bedrooms. Yes. Uh, and it's the most craziest thing ever because even in my adulthood, I still dream and see the world in the very same room. Really? It's a very, very crazy thing. So you see it from wherever you are, that room has that this connection. That very with room, you. yeah. And, I, and I, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's, it's because I was born there and, you know. But uh, Forum House, we had a smaller television set. Yeah. Uh, and uh, back then, uh, we had Bob TV. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it used to come in in drips and drabs yes. because sometimes, you know, frequency is not yes, catching yes, yes. and, and, and you'll have to sort it out a little bit yes. and then it catches. Exactly. Right. I remember that era. I'm age five and um, um, I mean, my friends had TV games. My friends had, uh, would be playing sports or whatever. But I mean, I'd, it'd be weird for me because I'd be at home in a little corner with buckets and, and teens, mm. and I'm hitting them as <laughs> like crazy. I'm playing these things. And they are watching these and, 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 the, and the bold and the beautiful. Yes. And they're like, we are rasa, you know. And for me, that was my practice. That was my practice. And uh, the same pop TV, that's where I saw Babu Salif Keita. This is where I saw Mom Angelique Kijo. This what song was Salif singing when you saw him? Salif was singing uh, Africa. Africa, yes. Salif was singing Africa. Um, and, and this is, I mean, I was age five, age five, six, and like 95. Yes. Yeah, 95. And uh, this is where I saw Mom Kajanin yes. singing Samborera. Oof. <laughs> oh. Right? Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, wonderful. For, for me, uh, I mean, of course, they were singing in different languages. I mean, Ubabu was singing in French. It was foreign to me, you know. Mm. But, but I, it sounded good. I connected. And you could connect with I it. I connected okay, okay. with it so much. Yes. And that's what molded this man that I am today. That's what molded my, my music. And um, ever since seeing those people, I have never stopped singing. So there's no one in the family who actually played an instrumental role in, in getting you there? Absolutely not. Right. But, but however, we were a family where... Um, Ingo ma inga kuma je like from nowhere, yeah. you know. But kuma is a song. It's a song. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Postola. It was really ke. It was a household. Yeah. Postola. Yeah. Um, the tap and clap by Rosi Bamore. Tap and clap. You know. <laughs> yes. And uh, um, every time there was either family gatherings, uh, bina nature, you know, and um, 
I suppose for me, it's really Kitsote Kayo Ona, this gift. Uh, but I must say that the queen that gave birth to me, she is the anchor of my spiritual journey. How so? Uma, when I was 21, just before she died, um, and this is before even the muffins, mm. uh, she's like, because ah, at home, usually when they would uh, uh, partake of the ancestral msebezi, uh, uh, I would then not partake, funny enough. It's like, no, 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 but, like, but, like, but. And then my mom one day was like, no, one day when he's older, he'll get it. And then just before she died, she was like, I have something for you, my boy. I'm like, what? It's like, but you won't get it now. You know, but once I'm gone, you'll get it. And then she passed on. And um, during the time of me uh, you know, dealing with her passing, I then started uttering sounds mm. uh, uh, that I didn't understand myself. You know, yes. and, and this is how the keke lingo, the keke lingo comes into the play. The spiritual language comes up. Where you're saying something, but yeah. we, we, we don't really get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. at first you didn't get it. I but didn't. now as you grow in it, exactly. in your head, you're, you know what you're trying to, exactly. to put forward. Exactly. And I think this is the greatest, greatest gift that she, she has uh, ever given me. Right. You know? And now that I'm older, I mean, I'm 35 now, I really, I get it. I get it. <laughs> on his birthday, <laughs> Kekelingo, House of uh, Sankofa. I love the story, you know, of how we grow up and how, you know, we are influenced by, by, by certain things within our environment, this you know. I, I think those things are, are, are very important this because then they mold us, Keke, into the people that we, we become. Exactly. So then at some point, because you, you bang that drum kit, you, 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 you had to go and... and, and and get a structure yes. around you, just playing in a little corner yes. uh, in the backyard yes. uh, with, yes. uh, you know, uh, Amatin, Nana. Yes. 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 When did that sort of now take course? Um, so from Gakoko, um, there is a local Christian church. Okay. And uh, when you are at my grandmother's house, if they are playing instrumentation at, at that church, you can actually hear them. Okay. And the first time I had drums, actual, re like, real drum kit, yes. was at that church. But I had it from Gakoko, and I ran, trying to find where this sound is coming from. Uh, yeah. And only to find that it was at this church. And um, every time they would practice, the, the church choir would practice, I would always stand by the wall. Outside, and just listen to the music. And just listen to the music, and I'm gone. Kanti, the music director at the church, I kept seeing that there's a young man always just leaning and he's just gone, and, oh, you know? Man. And um, one day they said, come in. And they opened that door. The first thing I saw was the drums and I ran to the drums and I started, I started playing those drums. Yeah. I started playing those just drums. Just with your hands, I think. Just there were sticks. To, oh, there were sticks. sticks. I, you, you grabbed the and sticks I, and you went. My first time playing like a you know, pro proper professional drum kit. Right. And I started playing them ball and uh, the pastor was like, do you want to play? Yes. I'm like, of course I want to play. Yes. You know, and for me, that's, that's where the journey of, of playing professional started. Started. Yeah, at church. So praise and worship kind praise of Praise and worship, you definitely. You get Iban's like going. That's yes. it. That's it. That's where yeah. it started. And uh, fast forward, then to, uh, after matric, then I then came to Josie. Came to Josie trying to find spaces. Yeah, yeah, but Keke, you can't say he came to Josie. You were just here in Nale. No, but like... Are you, no, but, but, but you, you, know, you know, my brother, these things, uh, it, it is a journey because you, somehow you want to be a part of a community that does this thing that you're doing. And you had seen I certain see, people, you know, you know, that you can reference, that exactly. you, you'd want to be close to exactly. in order for you to grow. Exactly. And yes. at that time, Newtown was buzzing. Oh, of course. You know, that market theatre space, you, you name it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Newtown is buzzing. And someone was like, try Newtown. Yes. Um, the, you, can, you can connect with other musicians when you are there. You know, there's a lot of art stuff going on there. Mm. Um, and then uh, I had uh, made a, 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 a recycled trumpet called the Keke Horn. <laughs> You've got this <laughs> knack of inventing your own things. Keke Lingo, which is uh, supposedly uh, supposed to be a language, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know, keke horn, you keke say. Keke horn. Okay, keke and horn. describe it to me. Keke horn is a recycled uh, trumpet. Yes. It's made out of a roll-on container. Hmm. The roll-on container, I take out that ball, 
Right. And of course, I clean it up. And then I get the, 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 the two liter Coca Cola bottle or whatever. Yes. And then I cut and I, and I put plastic there. And once you play it, you get like a trombone or trumpet sound. It must be a very unique sound, yeah? It is quite unique. <laughs> because then I then entered SS Got Talent, the very first. The uh, television show. Television show. Okay. The first edition of SS Got Talent with my horn, yes. and, I, and I made it all the way to the semi finals. And that's, that's where my stardom kind of began. And the interesting story about this horn is that when I was basking in Newtown, um, little did I know that Ubabu Huma Sikela was dining there. Yes. And then he came out working, asking Uti, where's the sound coming from? Oh, he's hearing this he's thing. He's hearing this but thing. But he can't make out Uti, Uti he, he, he can hear it within the, yeah. the, the, the ranges of yes. a horn. Yes. You know, yes. as a horn player. Yes. yes. And he walks up to me, he's like, hey, man, wait up. Hey, man, this is very interesting, <laughs> Keke. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm going to ask you, you know. Yes. Are you going to You know, and I explained to him, I'm like, no, it's my horn. Do you have a name for it? I was like, no, I, can, I don't have a name for it. It's like, well, you said your name is Keke, right? So this is the Keke horn. Oh, man. <laughs> no, you were christened, you know, with it. And I wonder why you don't whip it out at any point somehow, you know, because I, I've never seen it of late, you know what I, I mean? And, um, you know, I, it, th there should be a special show where you actually whip that thing out and play it. It's, it's a, uh, like, a, I'm building, um, because I love curating shows. I, right. I, I love uh, um, uh, creating exper musical experiences. Experiences for your audience, yeah. So I'm, like, slowly building that up now. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, I found my voice, I found myself, and... We can't I'm wait. <laughs> Let us know as House of Sankof, I mean, we'll come of course, and uh, of we will come and capture of the course, moment, you know course, what I mean? Of Please. course, of course, of course. Yeah. And then um, the muffins. <laughs> <laughs> the muffins get together and, you know, the first time I heard uh, the muffins as a collective, it was so refreshing. Here are young people mm. who are just coming up and, and their sound, really. I couldn't quite figure you guys out, you know, Stimela, you know, Harare, Hore, Leo Guy. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where do you meet? At tertiary level or what? So, like I said, I'm basking around Newtown. I've just done uh, SS Got Talent. I've just finished matric, whatever. And then uh, at home, um, I had to prove myself um, to my family because at the time, it's that you, there's no funds for school, for tertiary level, that is. Um, but here's this thing that I love so much. And I wanted to prove to my grandmother, to my mother, that um, I can actually make a living mm. with this thing. So during my basking times, I would then go to Orlando, Orlando Villagas Street, okay. outside of Dr. Mandela's house, and also bask there. Bask there a little bit. And get some foreign currency, and then walk to Jablani Mall to go change yes. the currency, and then buy some groceries and take it home. Just for me to prove. So the tourists will give you a bit of dollars, you know, yeah. some, some euros and whatever. Yeah. And how would you bask that, uh, that the horn, horn? The horn. And possibly a djembe, no, I don't just know. The just, just the horn. Just the horn. Just the horn. And then I would That's take good. that money and then, then uh, buy groceries. For me to prove at home, which actually I, I can make a living out of this. Thing. Yeah. So, okay, fine. I then I'm basking there in Newtown. And then I, I meet uh, a band called Love Glory. Mm. Love Glory, Uno Zuko, Zuko, incredible vocalist. Zuko Collective, I Zuko think. Zuko Collective. They ended up being that, yes. right? That's I true. know Nozuk. Ooh, so an exceptional vocalist. We, we, we started together. We, st we oh, actually really? started together. Oh, she's wonderful. She's amazing. Oh, yeah. And then at the time, Ganti Uspiso was the guitarist. Spiso, For the collective. Spiso from the Muffins yes. is actually part of this collective. How? Ushen Uptelez. Ushen Uptelez. Ushen Uptelez. Okay, then we meet there. Yo, bro, what's up? What's up? It's like, no, I'm, I'm at the usual choir yes. with a, a band thing happening. Um, can I grab your number? I'm like, sure. And then one day he's like, um, their drama was not available. And could I step in, you know? And I was like, sure. Mm. And I went there and uh, we rehearsed a bit. And uh, we, there was a festival we were playing at, a rock festival. Okay. A rock, rock, rock festival. And with four songs. So now we can't sound check with these songs that we're going to perform. We have to like play something else. Because now the audience is there. So in festivals, there's this thing called a line check. Right. A line check is when you are basically just checking the level of instruments and level of your mic. Mm. But the audience is already there. They're already there. They're already yeah. there. So you can't really rehearse, as it were. 
you yeah. know what I mean? And um, so we just started playing a Metallica uh, progression. Uh, and um, the guys checked their mics. And then when, when it was my turn to check my mic, I then started uttering those same words that I could not understand. The ones, lingo. Keke lingo. Yes. And uh, a friend of ours was there, and they recorded that part. And that's how the song Sound Check was born. <laughs> Can we hear it? <laughs> ah, it's my personal favorite, you know, from the Muffins. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? The, 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 what do you call this? The ca ca so this is the... Cajon. Cajon, Cajon, Cajon. Cajon. Uh, it's a South American... South person. American, yeah. Pre Brazil. Brazil. Yes. You know. And, um, and yeah, and, and they play the sambas, the, the salsas. The, right. You know? Um, so can I... Yeah, you need to... You, uh, yeah. Can I, can, can I go for it? Yeah, go Hold for the mic. it. Just put it. Oh, must I just yeah, put it? Yeah, you can just pull it there. All right. I think it's tight. Mm. Yeah, okay, there we go. Ah, he's got it, he's got there it. There we go, there we go. No, take off the dead one as well. Mm. Okay, he's got Thank it. Thank you. This is what happens when they put you on the yeah, spot. Yeah, you guys tied him down too much. <laughs> you tied him oh, down too man. much. Okay. okay cool. Let me take out this baby. Ooh, the shaker. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you can hold it, hold it for me, okay. Okay, uh, you said sound check. Sound check, personal mm. favorite, uh, you know, of mine, amongst many, many other songs that you guys have done with, uh -huh. uh, you, you know, the Muffins. Yeah, but yeah. this one, I mm -hmm. think, uh, as you said, yeah, yeah. introduced us to Keke Lingo. <laughs> 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 it, it's, been, it's, been, it's been 10 years of the Muffins, and to this day I still get nervous every time I'm supposed to perform. Right. But it's great. Oh, well. Vision in the lane, you. She lay up on you, will him you. Put up your name, we make you live for you. We live you, we live for you. We never heal a yellow queen. Put it to you, we live for you, no, no. Put up your name, we make you live for you. We live you, no, not you. Stop it, we like it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh man. that is so beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think, you know, every show I've, I've seen of you, the last one, I think a couple of years ago, was at the Yamaha Theater. This is true, this is true. Yeah. And, and, you know, you guys played, but as soon as Soundcheck came on. <laughs> and, and now I get why the song <clears throat> was uh, actually titled <laughs> Soundcheck. <laughs> Yes. Isn't it? Yes. 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 Because we're like literally sound checking and, uh, and, and that's the power of music. Uh, anything can happen. It's just a matter of one being open-minded. Yes. And really run with it. You mm. know? And uh, I think uh, I always say to, to, my, to my partner at home that I feel like I'm an old soul, an old man transported by a very young man's body. Yes. Yeah. yeah this old man has been around for <laughs> decades and his, or their work here is to really create uh, music that's going to live forever. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Oh, man. My, my people are with me, my mother, and that's why I say particularly my mom. My, yes. mom, my mom is with me. You know, All she, the time. She is a queen, a strong queen, uh, a spiritual queen. She, she would see the Gabon, I guess, she had the gift of seeing. Uh, mm. And, and I sometimes I, I just think, because uh, of the systems that we have, uh, a lot of these great African gifts that we have, they tend to be overlooked. Yes. And Kanti in the in our societies and our communities, they actually play a massive role. Yes, yes, tools are at times, but uh, you know, I always say, but these things are part of us. 
This is who we are. Yeah, because I think we've been so conditioned in many ways, you know, to, yeah. to just take on that other culture. Oh, yes. Where yes. is yes. in those eight, when yes. they come at four, yes. We, yes. we get taken aback. Yes. Uh, yes. But it's yes. our way, isn't it? It, it is our way. Yes. It, it is our way. And, and this is why I'm saying only now, in my older age, I, I understand what my mom meant to say, my son, you're still young. You'll find your voice. You'll find yourself. <laughs> And you sure did with uh, the Muffins. I mean, you know, the, the band, the collective has taken you guys far and wide throughout, uh, you know, the breadth and length of, uh, you know, this country. And, uh, you know, uh, you, you've been abroad as well, you know, to go and entertain uh, crowds. That, you know, for you must have been a stage where personal growth as well. This is true. What was beginning to, to open way this for you. True. Yes, it's true. I mean, uh, I'll never forget. Uh, when we got the invitation to perform at the Apollo Theater mm. in, in, in Harlem, New York. New York, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I got to touch, uh, there's, a, there's a wooden uh, tree that you have to touch before you perform. Before you go there, yeah. And I mean, the greats, your Luda, your Anita, your, your, the list goes on. Yes. They touched that very uh, tree. And right. here I am, a boy from Soweto. I'm here and I'm singing and it's, it's incredible. Dreams do come true, like uh, dreams do never, come true, don't they? Yeah. Never, never, ever, ever doubted. Yeah. Dreams do come true, and uh, and uh, a lot of times, uh, the people around you may not believe, but you must believe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You must believe, and I, I think it, it, it's belief that has gotten me to uh, to where I am now. And mm. I absolutely believe. Yeah. Mm. I was talking to Sfiso a couple of uh, weeks ago. <laughs> on my radio show oh, on, yes. on Radio 2000. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. and you know, he, we were just chit chatting. <laughs> In fact, he also came through to the studio on his birthday. So there's oh, something, <laughs> there's something about you guys. <laughs> and birthdays. It was, a, it was his birthday on a Sunday when he came through. And, yeah. and here you are, you coming through, yes. and, and it, it happens to be your birthday. Mm. So we were just chatting, you know, about the muffins and, and, and the solo projects thereof, you know. And I, and I said to him, no, no, no. I, I know that nothing's gone wrong yes. with the collective. You yes. guys are still together. But I mean, two of you, uh, Usfiso, which, you know, he goes by Usfiso Atomza now, right? Usfiso Atomza, yes. As a solo artist. Solo artist. You decided to go solo. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that a, a, a drummer who sits right at the back of the band, right, decides to come up front and say, here I am, I, I'm a drummer. <laughs> because people are thinking, yeah, who's, who's Patele in? Yeah. Yes, yeah? Yes. Was it an easy decision for you to say, okay, guys, I, I, I want to I wanna just go and explore, you know, myself and what I can give or bring? It's, well, that's a beautiful question. Uh, yeah. I must say, when, when I, 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 I went solo, the first time I had to perform the solo work, it was very hard because um, I was not used to just hearing my voice only. Mm. I mean, it's, it's always been the five guys. The band covered you. In the a band way. Yes. is there, right? Yes. And now um, um, it took a lot for me because I, I then had to believe in my voice. Yeah. Because it's always been a collective. Now here you are, you're alone now. Hmm. You know, uh, I, I had to tell my truth. I had to speak my truth. I, uh, it, it was not easy. Yeah. But I think it, that's the beauty of hola. We see when, how hola you understand yourself. Yeah. And uh, then I must say it, it really got better uh, once I became comfortable. And um, one of the first songs I did was Konza, which features Amifa. Amifa, yeah, uh, beautiful which, song, I must say. Thank you so much. Beautiful song. Yeah. Paying homage to my great mother that gave birth to me. You know? Yes. And, uh, whew, yeah. And so it's been singles. Uh, it's been singles. For now. It's been singles. But I'm sure a body of work is ready, Keke. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, no, like, I mean, people are complaining. To, to tell them when. <laughs> people are complaining, Wuti, Kanti, like, when are we getting How many up? singles are there now? I know you Yo. did a collaboration with Zoe Mudika as well. And Amanda Black. And Amanda Black. On CRP, yeah? Yes. And then that's Amifaku, yeah. number two. Yes. And then that's DJ Cairo on a song called Una Lega De. Yes. Um, DJ Cleo as well. Yeah, you did something with I, him? I did something with him. Wonderful. Um, Clonipo as well. Like, there's been really just a beautiful build up. Right. Because for me, I, uh, my music is not something you rush. Mm. Uh, and you don't stick to a specific genre. No. You lend yourself, you know, yes. to the housey feel as yes. well. I've heard yes. you, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah. So I think I, I'm really, I'm taking my time. And it helps to, for me to take my time because then every time I get downloads, uh, the music really heals me. And I think for me, I'm not chasing 
Yes, it's great when your music is downloaded. It's, 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 uh, but for me, this is, this is my life. Oh, yeah. This Bread is, and butter. Yeah, yeah th like this is my life. This is, this is my reason of, uh, the reason I'm leaving is actually for this work, you know. So it's really beyond the accolades. It's, it's beyond that, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And I think you will get there because the ultimate is to, uh, you know, say to those who love you, uh, yeah. who come to your shows, yeah. because now you're, you're starting to play, you know, as an individual <laughs> in various spaces. And this I liked what you said in the beginning that uh, you like your performances to be uh, some sort of an experience where you like to curate it them, you to. know, in a certain it way. It be. makes it extra special for me, really who's does. taking out my money to come and this see is you, isn't it? This is true. Yeah. And, I, and I think the experience of having to travel the world with, with the muffins, uh, seeing shows and festivals in, in Norway, uh, in, in, in France, wherever, and seeing how they do things. And now this is not only just Europeans, this is like Africans yes. that are in Europe, Correct. and they are creating this amazing work. And I'm like, snap. So you can, you can have your show in, in, a, in, in, in a museum, and, yes. and, and you have all these amazing things, and you know, so that has really inspired that. That's why for me, Kekilingo uh, concerts have to be experiences. Mm. They really have to be experiences, yeah. Indeed, uh, they have to be uh, experiences, <laughs> you know. But, you know, still on the drumming, it, it, yes. it, it's always your forte. So whenever you're playing, I, I will not see you, you, you know, away from your drum kit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or you'll have your, your percussion toys as well. The percussion is there, or I'm on the drum kit, I'm on, I'm on the actual drum kit. Because then, for me, composing starts here. It's a funny thing because even in the, in the, in the, with the muffins, every time I had to teach them my songs, yes. it would start here first okay. with the rhythm. Yeah. And then I would then sing from there, then I start singing the, with, the, with that guitar line. Sure. Uh, and all and, and, uh, the, or the bass lines. And uh, that's, that, that's been my process. And, and I'm, re I'm really super grateful for that. Mm. Really, really, really super grateful for that. And, mm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it, it goes to show. Back of the house, little corner, <laughs> you know, playing, you know, Mama yeah. Porto, or you yeah. know, Mama Teen, whatever yeah. the case is. Yeah. But then you were, you, you, you were talking about, you know, hearing Salif Keita, you know, uh, hearing Kajanin, I think uh, you were talking about. And this Kekelingo, mm -hmm. sort of, you know, when I first heard it, I thought, hey, <clears throat> Mfano, <laughs> uh, you know, he's a South African, or, you know, is he from <laughs> West Africa? Because, you know, if you don't know, you know, like this certain languages, but, this is true. but it goes to show that from the early years, you, you picked up that Salif sort yes. of uh, feel yes. and, and that West African sort yes. of tone. Yes. And of course, yes. you've been blessed with this magical voice. I don't know where to range it. <laughs> what have they said? Just where it's, it, it's one and it's amplified, man. Shucks. I know it's, it's super, super grateful to my mom. Uh, yes. But, uh, but uh, yeah, like I, th I think that influence of, uh, there was, there's just something about the, the, uh, our diaspora and the sounds. Uh, I mean, you check Vele, Abu Dhabi, Salif Keita, Senegal, Mali, yes. uh, uh, you know, the list goes on. It goes uh, on, man. Those, they really sing. And I think this is why a lot of people are like, no, your voice is so big. But you check us, Katis Nini, like when they sing, they actually sing. Their voices actually become instruments. They, it does. In, in, in the most peculiar way, right? They really, really sing. So right. I think for me, I, I've never, and this is why even every time when we do sound checks or whatever, my mic has to always be to yeah, Because hey, your projection <laughs> is something else, eh? So, so I, hope, I hope I didn't kill the sound guys. I hope I didn't kill the sound guys when I was singing earlier. Yeah. But um, yeah, that, that has really like molded me so, 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 so much that, that uh, a foreign language could move you so much. Mm. Like, I mean, they were singing in French, like I said, and I, didn't, I couldn't hear any word. Yeah. And, uh, and this, that's how then, every time I composed, I would start singing those words. Je ne coupe When you play in the But then, as I was saying, it, in your head, yeah. you, you're probably saying something. <laughs> you're passing a message, yeah, right? Yeah, in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, okay. and the beauty about it is that the Kekilingo is that you, it can mean anything to anyone. Yeah. Some people say, uh, I cry a lot. Some people say, it brings me joy. Some say, I was dealing with the loss of my mother or my father, and this music has brought so much healing. 
Um, I see tears. Well, I've seen tears um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, as the muffins when you guys were on stage, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. especially when you're doing sound check. Sound check. Yeah. And, and it's usually the, the, the females, you know, who just, <laughs> yeah. who, who just break down <laughs> and they are on their phones yes. trying to capture. Yes. But, you, you know, they, they, yes. they get overcome by yes. this overwhelming yes. feeling yes. And, and, and tears start trickling. And for me, I so think it, it's a powerful thing. It is powerful. But I think for me, the beauty of the shows is when you see men also break down because men were not easily, we don't easily show our emotion. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> Almost. And, 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 and I must buy my tea. Hold on, rude boy. <laughs> Easy now. We don't cry. <laughs> Easy it, now. And, yeah. and, and that's, how, that, like, that's how powerful it is that it, it would break those walls. It, like, just to hear Amajita, even come after the show, yo, bro, man, that song, man. I know we've become cool about it, yo, yeah. man. That song, man. Touched me, man. It touched me, man. <laughs> they won't go deep, but they you won't, know yeah. that it really uh, did an impact, Google, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, what are we looking forward to uh, moving forward? I mean, obviously, the full body of work, which I think uh, everyone who knows you, loves your music and follows you, this is, true. is really looking uh, forward to. But what else are you navigating around this uh, music space? Um, I think uh, right now I'm working on my debut EP. Okay. Um, what are we going to have? Five, six tracks there? It's about five, six, six tracks. Okay. Um, definitely lots of collaboration also outside of this EP, lots of collaborations. Uh, the, uh, a lot of DJs in the uh, Afro, uh, Afro beat and uh, sure. uh, yeah, I'll be doing a lot of collaborations with them. Uh, but I think... Uh, it be interesting to hear you on a black coffee. Uh, I think that's coming. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's coming, and, uh, and I think I It'd be very interesting to hear you on a black coffee, to just see how you, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's coming, and I, and, I, and, I, and I think I love it when the work just speaks for itself. Are you saying it's coming because it's coming, or are you saying it's coming it, because you wish it No, it, 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 it is it coming. It is coming. It is coming. Ah, it, I, it I didn't have the, I, I didn't <laughs> have a clue. <laughs> no, it is. It, 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 it is coming. coming. It is coming. But I think uh, a lot of uh, world, world, world music, world stage. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, the lot of the work of the Kekilingo work will, will be. Uh, I'll be doing it a lot in Europe. Yes, uh, there'll be a lot of things that you'll be seeing. Wonderful. Um, um, but of course, I'll, I'll, I'll be here at home as well. But uh, Naganjani, there's a. Uh, like the lot, lot of work happening yes. up there. So. There's, a, there's a song I heard. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a fellow brother from the continent. Mm -hmm. Babani or something? Oh, yes, this is true. Where, where, where's the gentleman from? No, no, Utsuko Tembisa. Utsuko Tembisa. <laughs> oh, you see. Yeah, because that song to me just oh, felt yes. like, you know, oh, yes. it just felt like oh, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's from that West yes. African sort of yes. region. Yes. So, so much entrenched in that's it. That's what I'm saying. Know, the that sound. world music space is really calling me so much. Uh, that's where a lot of, and also theater, I've just uh, finished uh, Umoya with U Simpuedana. Dana. Simpo Dana, yes. Uh, was it the Jobek Theater, Jobek the presentation? Theater, yes. Yeah. We're taking that to Devon now. I saw that, yeah. It's also going to go to Europe. So there's, I'm, I'm involved in cool in theater. I curate a lot of theater music. I love that space. Mm. Um, so, yeah. And who would be the ultimate um, artist sort of from the <laughs> continent that, uh, you know, you, you, you would... You know, on your wish list that you'd wishes, like yeah. to see yourself possibly having a collaboration with? Ish. Oh, man. I mean, what's Salif and Zabapila? Salif and Zabapila. Salif and Zabapila. I think definitely... But uh, Angelique uh, Kijobate, Kajanin, Sombolera, you talked about a beautiful song. Um, I, I think those, those three, those three, but I must say right now, Fatwa Mata, Oh. Wana. She... Yeah. <laughs> Fight for, fight oh. For. <laughs> oh, she's something special, isn't she? She's incredible. She's incredible. She is super, super incredible. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I'd really love to work with that amazing queen. I think mm. it, it, it all happened. And uh, yeah, and, yeah. I was listening to uh, Richard Bona a couple of <laughs> days ago as well. Oh, Richard is just something special, you know. I mean, he's been in the country, mm -hmm. but you know, just like you, the way he infuses an instrument with the voice, 
it's, he infuses the bass and, and, and his voice. It's just... And, and you got your drums yes. and, and the voice. It's yes. just something beautiful. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I, I think Uba uh, Basega Kudi Le Manje, because he is signed to Quincy Jones' yes, uh, label. label. And, yeah. uh, and, and one of my wish was to actually work with uh, Quincy. Quincy. Uh, yeah, and I, I suppose Richard would definitely it would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trajectory, uh, you know, you, 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 you're you growing into it, man, and, uh, you know, I, I, I really sort of just uh, wish you all the best moving Thank forward. So much, I can't wait, you know, what you'll be able to unearth for us, you know, yeah. who, who love your music. Um, and you're just generally a, a good guy, <laughs> just a nice guy, you know? Life is too short, yeah, man. Life you know is too hair. short. You know what I'm saying? Laughter is the greatest medicine ever. The greatest medicine And ever. for more information, uh, for those who'd like to just follow you on those uh, social platforms oh, and yes. things of such nature, where are you found? Uh, so my music is available on all digital platforms. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you can follow me on Instagram, it's at Kekelingo Music. On Facebook, it's at Kekelingo Music. Twitter as well, Keke Lingo Music. Yeah. Take us home. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> yeah, I can't okay. say anything because oh it's going to be Keke Lingo, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so, yes. Uh, so, let, is, is let, there anything? Let me pay homage to Umam Kajanin, actually. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, I can see Yeah. Okay, let me just pull uh, this again. Uh, yeah, um, so, uh, Wale Watu. Wale Watu. Wale Watu, yeah. Yes. Wale watu, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was playing that a couple of. <laughs> Weeks ago, actually, oh, yeah? M. Sagazo. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I was okay. playing that. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is the Kiki Lingo verse. Kiki Lingo rendition, and then the chorus is, you know, okay, cool. <clears throat> right. One, two, three, two, go. During a little bee in a Eturinali Ekula gula guti, Angela Kijo said. Hanya koli olove tale, kupele saninga lave tale, kupele 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 akole akole akole. I want more, I want more. Go ahead, go ahead. We shine in light as we celebrate the continent, House of Sankofa, going back, retrieving, moving forward in light. Kekelingo. We give thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much.